After a double overtime loss in the B championship game last year, a loaded lineup coming back from Miranda Cook. The Black Bears considered one of the top teams in the state this year, but a showdown with Class A power Coney tonight in Reed Field. And this is basketball in the pandemic era. The varsity watching the JV game on TV from the cafeteria, keeping everybody sequestered. All right, Miranda Cook delivered a knockout punch early. Cam Cormier showing off the mid-range jumper. He had 17. Then the Black Bears break the press. Tim Worcester, Trey Bien from the corner. Other way, Kyle Dewan left alone, and he's going to step up and knock it down. Coney, though, was down 19-3 to early on. Cash McClure, the perfect bounce pass to Joe Albert for two. And then McClure driving the basket and one. He had 32, 98-59. Miranda Cook. They're looking strong. They're 5-0. Winthrop and Haldale in a Mountain Valley Conference showdown. Bulldogs trailing in the third, but Ian Stebbins turning defense to offense, racing in for the bucket. Haldale takes the lead. Other way, Kyle, Di uh, Kyle Dion oh, loses the handle, but regains it and rolls the defense to sleep, drains the jumper. Then Ian Steele working from the outside. He went to work, had 20. Ramblers take the lead back. We went back and forth. Haldale rallies. Max Byer in the tough move inside. He had 13. Haldale grabs the lead. Winthrop a big fourth, though. Dion again gets the roll. 47-40 Winthrop with the road win. All right, girls hoops. Morris hosting Madomic Valley. Morris moving to a new high school soon. So the days in the middle school gym are winding down. Maddie Werner, the offensive board, hits the jumper. She had 12 to lead the way for the shipbuilders. Other way, Autumn Ripley finishes the fast break from Madomic Valley. Then Morris breaks the press. Renee Hicks ahead of the pack for the basket. Freshman Maya Cannon answers with a nice move inside for the Panthers. And Madomic wins it on the road 46-33. All right, Gardner hosting Erskine Academy. Erskine, a young team, just two seniors, one of them. Or one of the juniors, though, on this team, Samantha Golden, given the baseline jumper, knocks it down for Gardner. Lizzie Gruber inside. She gets double team, triple teams, and oh, scoop, there it is. The nice move inside. Gardner adds to its early lead. Megan Gallagher hits the three. She had 10. She's one of seven sophomores in the lineup. McKenna Johnson's another. She hits the three. 48. 25 Gardner with the victory. Savannah Brown adding 16 points for the Tigers. Forest Hill boys won't have a chance for a three-peat this year tonight taking on Valley. Big game in this one for senior Parker Desjardin who's been lighting it up. He spots up, buries the three. Then Desjardin gets the offensive rebound and the putback. He was feeling it tonight. 46 points, 13 rebounds. He's averaging over 40 a game. 81-42 Forest Hills with the win. All right, in Waldoro, the Madomic Valley Valley boys hosting Morse. The shipbuilders work it into Gabe O'Coin, who hits the mid range jumper for the shipbuilders. Other way for He's the Panthers, Patrick yeah. McKenney yeah. buries the three from the top of the key. He had 14. Trevor Brown added 25. Madomic takes it 70 to 42 over Morse. All right, Skowhegan girls hosting Nokomis. The Riverhawks, Skowhegan's nickname, JC Christopher, one of the best in the state. Buries the three. Skowhegan's up 15. Then Christopher finds Maddie Morris open in the corner for the triple. 56-35 Skowhegan with the victory. All right, let's stay up north. Hamden visiting Herman. One of the top big men in the game is TJ Hennigan of Her uh, Hamden and the big rejection from Hennigan. Other way, Aiden Cristal knocks down the three. The defending A champs take it 56-45. to All right, some news early.